Ever since February of 2018, I have been producing videos which center around autism and mental illness. In that time, I have received tens of thousands of comments from people who have been or are currently in similar situations as mine. While there are plenty of thanks and affirmations from people, which are of course appreciated, there is one type of comment that people tend to leave, more than any other kind. Within this type of comment, you'll find a fellow autism or mental illness haver saying that they have tried, like I have, to integrate into wider society, to suppress the traits which distinguish them from the average, neurotypical person. They've done this when trying to gain new friendships, relationships, employment opportunities, but in most if not all circumstances, they failed. Like I have. I especially got this type of comment in my autism and loneliness video. In that video, I told the world that two years ago, I got so sick of trying to ameliorate myself, of trying to meet society's standards so I could live a normal life. I got so sick of it that I isolated myself. This particular statement struck a chord with hundreds of people in the comment section. They, like I, saw no other way out. Without exaggeration, I see some form of this comment show up in my notifications every day. In these comments, I see my life reflected in the lives of thousands of others, thousands of people who bared the burden of trying to integrate, with their neurotypical counterparts playing the role of judge, jury, and executioner. It made me realize something. It made me think about all the people I've seen in the media, in politics, or in my own life who express false solidarity with the downtrodden. You know these types of people. The ones that virtue signal to their peers about the struggles of the mentally ill and then do nothing about it. I can't tell you how many times I've come across people in my life who are like this. When I was in school, there were several wannabe activists who would speak about diversity, inclusion, befriending the mentally ill, but when I tried to take them up on their offers, I was almost always treated with scorn or I was ignored. My only use to them was whether or not they could hold me up as a token or a prop so they could feel better about themselves. When I have applied for jobs at companies who proclaim to be equal opportunity employers, I have been rejected for the most superficial reasons, be it the clothes I wear or the lack of eye contact. This is a problem that many other people have brought up to me over these past few years. No doubt we have seen awareness of mental issues go up in the past few years, but what has been done to actually help us integrate? When I see my struggles continually echoed in the lives of thousands, it makes me paranoid that we're not actually getting anywhere. Surely there is more that we can do. Now despite my personal issues, I've tried to do what I can for my fellow sufferers. I created my Discord server so I could give people who self-isolated a place to hang out, you know, a place where they wouldn't be judged. Um, I do my best to actually speak to people who are struggling, be it on live streams or through DMs, and uh, direct them to helpful resources. You know, I do this in the hopes that they actually feel heard and or helped. But like I said, there's still the nagging thought that we're not actually getting anywhere. So. I came up with an idea that, hopefully, will take things to the next level. An idea that will give the members of my community the opportunity to empower themselves. And it has to do with the game I have been showing you guys the last few minutes. There is a stereotype that autistic people love Minecraft, that we sink hours into this game building these intricate, delicately crafted creations. It's actually a stereotype that I happen to think is true, and, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I think it's a stereotype that we should embrace. I've certainly embraced it. I own a Minecraft server. All the creations you have seen thus far are from people in my community building on that server. What I want to do is get more people building in my server so that it can turn into another refuge for those who are autistic and or mentally ill to go alongside my Discord server. If you happen to have Minecraft, I want you to come in and start building. Now you might be saying, Max, why should I suddenly start building in your server when I can just build on my own and feel equally as fulfilled? Good question. 
Here's where my idea comes in. I want to do a video showcase of your creations in my Minecraft server. Creations done exclusively by those who are autistic and or mentally ill. Moreover, I want to give you the opportunity to speak to the world. As I showcase your creation, I want you to tell the world the one thing you wish they knew about what it is truly like to have autism, anxiety, depression, ADHD, schizophrenia, whatever. Best of all, those who participate will be entered to win one of two free video games. Whoever makes the best creation will win a copy of Just Cause 3 XXL, which means you get all the DLC, and whoever gives the best statement will win a copy of Catherine. Of course, if you happen to win and are younger than 16, the game you receive will be more age appropriate. Now here's how this is going to work. If you'd like to participate in this experiment, in this showcase, email me at maxderrett at yahoo.ca. All you need to tell me in this email is your Minecraft name and your diagnosis. I will then send you information about how to get into the server, as well as how you can easily protect your creations from others. Once your creation is done, you must do two things. One, send me the coordinates of your creation. If you don't know what the coordinates of your creation are, simply press F3 on your keyboard and send me the numbers you see here, including the negative signs if they are there as well. The second thing you need to do is send me an audio recording of your statement. You can send this to me in whichever way is easiest for you. Use Google Drive or sendspace.com, or if it's small enough, just send it through the email. Most importantly, however, keep your statement brief. Only a maximum of 100 words will be permitted. Remember, we're trying to give as many people a voice as possible. Finally, if you have any requests, questions, or concerns at any time, please use the hashtag Minecraft server chat in my Discord server. Whether you need extra materials or need creative mode, just use the tag at mcadmin and one of them will help you. Once I complete the video showcase, we're going to spread it far and wide. We're going to get as many people to listen to us as possible. Given the popularity of Minecraft, especially on YouTube, I am positive we can make a serious difference here. You could be a part of an experiment that will not only showcase your talents, but finally get the world to take us seriously to get people to match their words with action. This is your opportunity to do something concrete for the mentally ill. Will you take that opportunity?